Other news now. The fate of one of America's most popular reality TV shows is still up in the air tonight. The controversy comes as one of the Duck Dynasty stars was in Atlanta today. Now, that show, as you may know, has been under fire after one of the stars condemned homosexuality. And as Mark McAfee explains, the popular personality's son was in no mood to address that topic. We can't wait to meet Jeff. Jeff Robertson was shuttled into Atlanta to appear at the Duck Dash 5K. He started the event, billed as a redneck 5K, with a gun blast. But he was in no mood to add any fire to the comments his father made to GQ magazine. He spoke to the crowd, waved on the runners, and then retreated without taking any questions. That left his fans to defend his father, suspended indefinitely by A&E. If Miley Cyrus can get a laugh, yeah, why should he get suspended? Phil Robertson drew fire for saying homosexuality was unnatural, a clear sin in the Bible. The world is changing, the country's changing, and he needs to get in line. Well, we thank you for another good deal. But Robertson's views weren't news to the show's fans. Well, it's something that we can watch with the kids. All right, good guys. Christian values. The Robertson family said in a statement they're in talks with the network about the future of the show. But even fans know there are certain market realities. The show may change channels, but it won't go dark. We would be really sad. Don't make it happen. There's too many people that love the show. Image consultants say this controversy has only boosted the revenue and interest in the show, one that already had millions of viewers and hundreds of millions in merchandising dollars before this happened. Die-hard fans are staying loyal to them. That's what we're seeing on social media. And people who may have heard of Duck Dynasty, seen some of the products in the store, now we're curious and checking them out. Mark McAfee in Atlanta for 11 Alive News. Well, tonight They're there when we need them. They are the first responders. Police officers, firefighters, and paramedics respond when we have an emergency. They put their lives on the line to save others, but what does it cost them if they get hurt? Our Jennifer Merrily found out it is a 